Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am showing you everything that I have packed in my bag. Isla's trunky and Ren's trunky. I'm going to start with mine because I am absolutely obsessed with this bag. It's from Baby Mail. I was kindly gifted this but I have used their products so much in the past and I did absolutely love this bag just purely because it's leather and I love this colour. I'm always a, a girl that goes for like black and I just thought this is nice. Nice for the summer, nice for the sunshine and I'm going to show you everything that I have packed in it. However, first of all, a favourite part and the one thing that attracted me to this bag was this. So easy access to wipes and I just feel like when I'm in the airport for a start and I have my hands completely filled, I just feel like how easy is it to just reach behind and grab a wipe as and when you need it. So yes, major selling point for me. It also has these stroller straps as well which I do love and I can carry on my bag, so I'm going to take that off. Um, so yeah, and then on this side I have my water bottle, it's in a little insulated bag. Um, which will keep my water cool as well but I'm going to put everything out in the bed because I feel like it's easier to see when everything's out in front of you and show you everything I've got packed in it and then I'm going to do Isla and Wren's as well so in here I have a little changing mat in here um, I have a clip for my hair, always good to have and I just feel like it's so much easier than a bobble. A spare muslin because do I even need to explain it's just so good to have two pairs of sunglasses I was always bringing to anyway then these surface wipes so I like to get on the aircraft and just wipe down everything it is Isla and Ren's first time on a plane on holiday and I do not want any bugs <laughs> none whatsoever and we all know that your crafts are filled with them so I thought I'll just wipe down the seat and just everything in front of them all the kind of touch points with these and then I have this is my little pouch that I take on with me and everything in it I've got four sachets of Calpol. Ren is currently teasing at the moment I'm worried that Isla gets pain anywhere or a sore head or a sore tooth anything at all I thought these are just good to carry on I like these little wipes um, I'm not a fan of the aircraft toilets full stop but I just like to have my own wipes then a little tub of Sudocreme in case Ren gets any sore nappy rashes then a little hand sanitizer some tissues a little lip balm because my my lips get so dry on the flight and um, so this is a really good one some bonjela like i've said rain is currently teething and then his matchstick monkey as well i have a little baby fork and spoon and um, his pouches are in his own trunky but i'll carry them with me and then earphones because again not always a fan of the aircraft ones his bottle which i will be carrying his milk with as well and then a water bottle for me i will fill this up once i get through security some cosy socks, love these for the flight. I've got two pairs because I just know Isla's going to want a pair. And then I have my travel wallet. So this is filled with our boarding passes and our money and just some like travel insurance documents that we like to take with us as well. So that's everything in there. And that is everything that I have in my bag. So starting off with Isla's Trunky, this is the unicorn one, she actually got this for Christmas and I love it because you get these little stickers that you can just design it yourself. So she has done this and she's super excited to take it today. And then at the top I'll just start off here, so I got her this water bottle, I think this was actually Sports Direct, it was only £3.99 I'm sure. Um, she's obsessed with Elsa at the moment and it's, it's fun getting something new isn't it? So all I'll do is fill that up once I get through security. Fill it up with water and I'll pop some diluting juice in it for her. And then have her earphones for her tablet which is currently on charge. Then a little poppet toy, um, she just really enjoys these. We have a lot of these for car journeys so I thought I'll pop one in and I can also enjoy it too. Then these books are fab so I highly recommend the search and find books. Um, basically yeah you just it's a bit like Where's Wally for those that are ages with me <laughs> um, and yeah she just loves 
going through everything and finding all the different things we make it a little challenge of who can find it first so when I seen this I thought that is amazing then a sticker fun book Isla is only three and a half but she yeah she's more suited to the four-year-old one so I've got this in the works um, and again what child doesn't love stickers you can also stick those to like the front um, or the little table they peel off quite easily so I do really recommend those ones and then a unicorn colouring book again obsessed with unicorns at the moment so I picked up that and these little pens were just from Poundland. Then over here we have jammies um, for her to just get a bit cosy at kind of the evening of the flight. Um, these are just from Primark, nice fleecy ones and she loves this little mask as well. Some fluffy socks and a little change of underwear in there for her. And then down here is the best part, this is all the snacks. So I have her a little pick and mix, um, we have little strawberry bites kind of covered in yoghurt. A little Rice crispy bar, um, a little Serene bar and then I got her these sweets for taking off and landing just to help with her ears. We are flying with Emirates so we have a lot of snacks and food on board. These are just little ones to kind of get us through and onto the aircraft and then just as and when I need them. And then finally these are from Smiggle and again just something new, fun and exciting, little highlighters and some little fun pens. Now, again as I said we are flying with Emirates so that she will also get a kids pack when she arrives on board which is filled with loads of things anyway but since we are on a long haul flight I thought it would be nice to take some new things for her. So yes that is everything that I have in Isla's Trunky. For Ren's trunky he has the tiger one and his first things are his little car so we got these for his birthday and he absolutely loves them you just push the windscreen and each of them are interactive and he absolutely loves these so I think we'll probably play with these more in the airport and then a little change of clothes again for the airport should we need it a water bottle which as before I will fill up once we get through security and then I got him this wooden stacker, so Ren absolutely loves stacking things and he's never seen this before, it's completely new so it will be very attractive to him and I thought he will love this on the flight. It's a good size and it was from Wilco for I think £3.85 um, so I'm just so sure he's going to love it and hopefully that keeps him entertained for a little while. Then we have his spinners, um, he plays with these all the time in the bath so I thought I can put them to either the window on the aircraft or maybe stick them in front of us but yeah he'll love playing with these. And then I got this little pair, um, it's a little squishy thing, it's almost like sand inside. Um, I absolutely love this, I'm not going to lie, but you can stretch it, squeeze it, do whatever you need. He is going to love this and again brand new, he's never seen it so I'm sure he'll enjoy playing with that as well. And I also picked up this, so these are both from Asda, I think that was £2 and this was only a pound. I'm sure. Um, yeah, again, a little sensory thing that he's going to love. And then I got these post-it notes, I've seen a trick again on TikTok I'm sure and you can stick them either to the little wall in front or the seat in front and it just keeps them entertained for a while. So these are only a pound from Poundland and then down here I have a little change as these sleep suit um, again for the flight and inside it I've actually wrapped up a nappy, a nappy bag and some wipes and then a little vest as well. So I can just literally grab this little pouch, um, I have a dummy there for him as well, I can grab this pouch and take him and get him all settled down for bed <laughs> and then we have some snacks so I've gone for Ella's Kitchen some Melty Puffs these little fruit wrigglers he does love these at the moment as well as these smoothie melts and then I got him a little veggie and red lentil bake and a peach mango banana and apple little puree so we are obviously again flying with Emirates and Ella's Kitchen pouches are given to you on the flight so I'll probably use this more for the airport in case it gets hungry and again it's just easy to feed um, as well so that's all the snacks that I have I also have his milk, um, I actually need to stop and get that but I'm just taking a big carton of the Alpro milk and I will feed him that once we take off and land. And then this I picked up on Amazon, I absolutely love this, so it's a little headband and it plays music as well so it's got little inbuilt earphones and Ren doesn't like anything on his head, he'll pull off a hat or he'll pull off his earphones so I'm hoping that once I get him settled and he can hear music through this he'll just settle right down um, and yeah hopefully that will 
do the trick for us. And then again, finally got him this book. Um, I thought it'd be fab for going to Australia. And he loves all these little books because they're all obviously touch feel books. So that is everything that I have packed in Ren's Trunky. So I hope you enjoyed watching that and hopefully it's given you some inspiration. I know myself when I'm trying to pack, I can never think of everything I need. So hopefully this video has helped. I will link this bag below because it is honestly a must and it's so spacious as well. I have so much room left in here, um, which is great because we all know it's going to be filled by the time I get there. But literally I have like the full top of it is still empty so I could fit so much more in there already um, and yeah I just think it's a great bag lots of compartments as well and one that I would highly recommend so we all now need to go pack the car up and I will see you all in my next video